welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that I have seen perusing the internet and my friend Andrea Mitigliano recently did this video. I saw Jen Loves Reviews just did this video and I keep making a mental note to do it and I just keep forgetting. So today I'm going to be telling you the 10 things that I would repurchase if I lost all of my makeup. I don't know how that would happen. I mean even in a tiny house I still have quite a bit of makeup but oof, let's get into this. If you are new to my channel, hi new friend, I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below to see all of the fun, loud and weird, unique videos I put out every single week. I believe Emily Noel is the one who originated this because it came from a question in her comments in a Q&A and she made it into a whole video and well done sister, well done. I feel like the videos that I have seen on YouTube are very like premeditated, like agonizingly have gone over like oh gosh what would I want what would I need my version of this video is just gonna be top of mind like what are those things that I immediately think oh, I am naked bare without any makeup and I need to go buy this right now Ugh, that's hurtful to think of so I'm gonna just gonna be top of mind what is it then I'm just gonna devour all of my makeup in here okay so I always like to go kind of like chronologically and I think what I would be doing is also kind of excluding tools like, like take out my eco tools take out my real technique sponge like I'm not thinking of those I'm thinking of actual makeup pieces while I'm doing this. The first thing that comes to my mind that if I lost all of my makeup I absolutely love and need how you doing Colourpop? You knew Colourpop would be in here right? You did you did. This is my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I have like two or three of these. My shade is Light 16. I love this. I use this to conceal all my ish. But I know some people even love to use this formula as a foundation. And I think I'm going to get a deeper shade and try that because if this is so good for my under eye, you know it's amazing for the rest. So this is probably one of the first things that I would repurchase. And, and you know, a lot of people like chose to not say they wanted foundation because there's other pieces in makeup that they would need more. But for me, the first thing I think of is I have oily skin and I also have a lot of imperfections and there's a lot of times where I just need a quick matte full face without a lot of effort. So I would definitely run down to the drugstore and get my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. This is the 03 Light Beige shade. This is working pretty well for me right now. And side note, I heard they're coming out with more shades, which yay, because these oxidize. This is the one that I love a lot because I feel like I could just do one pump and go and find that SOB that stole the rest of my makeup. <sighs> Get off on a tangent. Stop getting on a tangent. But this is something that I absolutely love and I would repurchase because it's also convenient. I could just go to a drugstore, pick it up, and it's pretty inexpensive and still feel like I could do a full beat if I needed to. Another piece because I am fairly oily is powder and I love my Cody Airspun so this one is just top of mind. I would absolutely want this because it keeps my ish together. I can bake with it. I can set with it. I can do all kinds of things. Love my Cody Airspun so I would say that mostly because I have oily skin. Okay so the next thing I'm thinking is that I have kind of a square face. Sometimes it looks a little round so I would need to give it some kind of effort to give myself a little bit of dimension. I need dimension here. So I would immediately go to the drugstore and buy this kind of pricey item for the drugstore, but amazing and long lasting. My butter bronzer. This little baby smells like a dream. I know some of you guys don't like it. I love it. But I also think this, I, it took me so long to go through my first compact. It took like, did it take over a year? It took over a year, maybe a year and a half. And there's still like product on the edges. So for me, if I was totally makeup free and I had nothing to define my face, I would go and buy this at my local drugstore ASAP. And if you're curious, the color I love right now is Sun Kissed Bronzer. So when you think of bronzer to kind of like start giving that definition, I'm also thinking I would need a highlight on my face as well to make myself look like I have higher cheekbones than I do. So then I would go to a highlighter and while I'm at the drugstore, I would probably also just go ahead and grab some Wet n Wild highlighter. This is my Mega Glow Precious Petals highlighter. This one I have already hit pan on. I love this powder so much. It just gives you that little top of like, oh, oh, how you doing? I got a match now, right? I got a match. Of course. Glowing for days. Yes, 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 yes. I would need this. I would need this in my life. I use this for like under the brow, in the inner corner, on the face, sometimes on the shoulders. 
this is an inexpensive, amazing highlighter. So this is what I would run to the store and buy while I'm getting all this other stuff. Kind of like set all of that down. I really do still like a spray. I know a lot of people aren't saying that they want like finishing sprays or anything because it seems like it's extra. And I'm so sorry that I am kind of extra. But because I do have oily skin and something that helps to keep me together through a longer day is a Wet n Wild spray setting spray which is the natural finish this is the one i'm really liking right now there's also a matte one that i do enjoy but for some reason the pump on that little sob doesn't work well so i would say right now if i had to wet and wild natural finish spray one it's inexpensive two it's super handy and it takes a lot to go through it at least for me and it keeps me together and i do have oily skin so i have four more items to go and I love eyeshadow palettes. You guys know that for me, that is just like my ultimate kryptonite. Every time there's a new one out, I have to like talk myself off a ledge to buy it because I'm like, you don't need another one. You don't. But one that is very encompassing for me that I have used for months and months on end without really needing to reach for another palette itself would be the Jaclyn Hill palette. The OG one, not the newer ones that are the vault that you guys are telling me a lot of scandalous stuff about, but that's a different video. Uh, this palette has essentially everything I need if I just want a neutral look, if I want a bold look, if I want a going out look, if I want a shimmer look, if I want a matte look, if I want all the looks in the world, I could go to this. The one thing that I've always said that I hate that it doesn't have is a matte cream shade because I like to start my eye look at the top up here and then work my way up, but I would be getting the... Cody Airspun, so I could use that. And also, where did I put it? My concealer, you know, I could use and blend and do stuff. So I think this is the one I would reach for. This is the one I would go and purchase because it has so much. And then I could still come on camera and do lots of different videos for you and not look like I have just done the same look over and over. So for me, that's what I would say. I almost set a ColourPop palette. Oh, because I do love so many ColourPop palettes, but 10 items, 10 items, 10 items. Down to three. The next thing I think of is my brows. Like I have to have my brows on. The other day, even just running around at the house, I just kind of put on a base face and I was like, you need brows, go, go do brows. So the thing that I reach for a lot is my Winky Lux pencil. I got this from a BoxyCharm a while back and I've already repurchased it because I really like this formula. I like the shade, I like all of it. So this is the one that I would say I would just repurchase. Is it convenient? No, I would have to go online for it. But out of all my other brow pencils, like ColourPop, I don't like it as much. Uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, pretty good. I like that, but again, not as accessible. So I'm just like, I, I like this. I would buy this. Don't talk yourself out of it. Final answer. Last two products. Eyelashes. I would need eyelashes. I just do because, you know, brows. You need just something. And I really, really love this very inexpensive mascara. It's not super convenient. I can't run to the drugstore for it, but I'd still order it. And this is my Essence Lash Princess, and this is the False Lash Effect. I have had this baby far longer than it should. Shh, don't tell the makeup gods. I need to repurchase it. But I even used this today, and it has given me some full lash looks with my eyes, and I just love it so much, and it's lasted so long. I know, three-month rule. I know it. I'm just saying, I love it, and this is what I would buy. And for lips, the main thing that I feel like I would absolutely have to have because I've already repurchased this, I think, three times and I'm already going to need to buy it a fourth is another ColourPop item. And it is the shade Aquarius. It is a nude shade. I know, snooze, boring, but I love it. It goes with so many eye looks. It also goes with a lot of just like run out the door, don't need to must, no fuss. You're just kind of making yourself look like you didn't just crawl out of bed kind of thing. I love Aquarius from ColourPop. It is one of my ultimate favorite lippies. So those are my 10 items that if everything in my beauty space disappeared tomorrow, it would be top of mind for me to go and purchase. Are there other smarter things I probably should have said? Probably so. But when you're thinking top of mind of like, I need this right now, I'm naked. That's where my mind goes. So what do you guys think? What would be your like 10 things that you were just like, I cannot exist. I can't go to work without this. I can't go to the store without my full regime. What would you get? I'm curious, what would be the things that top 10 you would want to get? Tell me in the comments below. I'm probably going to read some of yours and be like, oh, that was way smarter to pick than what I picked. But you know, it's just top of mind right now for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you happen to be new to this channel, 
Hi, new friend. I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below. Have you seen that red button down there? Do you keep seeing my videos when they're recommended? Just go ahead. Just click the subscribe button and come join all the fun we have over here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.